Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. All right, guys. So I am back once again. So guys, in this video, I will sh show you how to display the nearby places. All right. So, for example, nearby hotels, restaurants, school, colleges, ATM. All right, banks. Okay. So uh, I will sh teach you in a very simple way. You will uh, learn. Uh, I promise you, you will. Uh, it will not waste your time okay so let's get started so guys uh, let's uh, let's create uh, a class okay till then now we are able to find the user current location okay so now uh, we need to create a class and name the class as get nearby places okay and like okay so now you need to extend it with asynchronous task so async task and in here we can say object string and the third parameter will also be string so now here we can override the method do in background and we also need on post execute method all right so first of all uh, what we can do we uh, we will send uh, uh, three objects okay so the first object will be the google map okay and the second will be the url it will be in the string form so here we can receive those, val those values so first of all we can say google map and we can say a map okay and here we can get the map as equals to params of zero and so it is saying some error so we need to write google map okay the second will be our string url so we can say url equals to string and we can say parameters param one okay so we have these two values uh, uh, a map google map and uh, url so now what we can do here what first of all we need to write url um, my url equals to new url and in here we can say you uh, pass the url so it will saying because we have to uh, catch the exception malformed URL, uh, url exception so we can say try and let me paste it here catch malformed url exception okay and we need to use the http url connection equals to http url connection my url dot open connection so it will say we have right catch io exception all right so here we can say http url connection dot connect okay. all right so we uh, so also we need an input stream so we can say input stream is so we need to pass the input stream here so we can say input stream equals to http now get input stream okay and we need a buffered reader to receive the buffer reader buffer reader so we can say buffer reader equals to new buffer reader in here we can say new input stream reader and here we can pass the input stream okay so it's very simple we uh, use it for all the uh, for all the time whenever we need to uh, receive the the value in the json format so it's used in uh, so so guys uh, now what we can say we can say string line we need to initialize and here we say while uh, sorry line equals to buffer reader dot read line is not equal to null okay so now so we need a string 
स्ट्रिंग बफर न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर ओके सो वी नीड स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर सॉरी स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर string builder and new string builder all right so now we can say string builder dot append and we will append the line here and we also need final uh, string data and we can say data equals to Mm, string builder dot to string okay so now we are receiving the uh, the uh, json in our data string okay so now we need to write uh, return data okay so now we uh, it we will receive the data string data in here in s okay so now we need to parse the data okay so guys uh, in my next video i will show you how to parse the parse the uh, data here okay so if you like the video please share like and subscribe goodbye